We're back for more Dragon Age Inquisition, and we're here in Skyhold. Very scenic. Very pretty. Let's go explore. This place is actually really fucking cool. So here's what we got. We got stuff. Something apparently. Ooh, note. They've been destroyed by the darkest menace. Hello, Sarah. So, Inquisitor. It's Inquisitor now, right? Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little baddies I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? Andraste, what does step in? Odd that you'd ask Andraste over your own gods. My gods? Whatever. They don't talk any more than she does. <laughs> like she's supposed to. I know what happened to you. Or what everyone here thinks happened. It seems... I don't know what it seems. The ancient thing trying to kill us seems pretty real. Don't get me started. Oh, wait. Too late, right? A magister who cracked the Black City. It's a hazy dream, right? I mean, if it's real, real, then the seat of the Maker? Real thing. A seat needs a book, so the Maker? Real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world? Real things. It's too far, isn't it? I just want to plug the Skyhole rubbish so I can go play. As long as you're reliable when we go magister hunting, stay for whatever reason you like. Like don't have nuts to do with it. Not when we're tracking monsters that shouldn't be. What I want is to get everything back to business as usual. A nice simple system with simple problems. Helps me, helps people, helps you. In that order. For now. You're starting to not sound completely crazy. I know, scary, in it. So bring him on. But first, food. I'm starving. Have fun. Okay. Ow. Black wall. Oh, hey, cigarette. You get a title, I get the boot. I see how it is. I mean, thanks for my life. Please to serve. <laughs> hey, black wall. So this is Skyhold. That it is. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. Sure, why not? Holy hell, look at all those we'll camps down there. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. He's not going to get the better of us again. We lost good soldiers that day, loyal men and women. Let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. I'm grateful for your support. It's my job, isn't it? Killing Darkspawn? Look, in spite of it all, there is hope. The people flock to your banner. They believe in you. Tell me honestly, are you what they say you are? Andraste's chosen. But of course. I was chosen by Andraste. She saved me. We shouldn't question it. I don't. We all need to believe in something. <laughs> okay, now I don't even know where I am. <laughs> What's over here? Just a tower? Just a broken tower. Okay, okay it's good. <laughs> Do 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 Oh, it's Varric. Uh, we're not gonna do that just yet, guys. Is important quest, but we're gonna do other stuff first. Hey, Harding. Scout Harding. What's been going on? Sister Liliana glanced at me today. I think she's gonna have me killed. It sounds right. Shouldn't you be out there scouting? In a bit. 
We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> so, who's Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that... thing out there. I have to go. Oh, the tavern's not open yet? That's a damn shame. Hey, bullshit! Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. <laughs> so how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. We don't have names under the queue. Just, I don't know. Job description, I guess. When I came to Orlay, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. Why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. Also, it's THE Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, <laughs> a mindless weapon. An implement of destruction. That really works for me. See you later, Bull. Nice talking. Nope, hold on. What's going on? What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on. It'll be worth your time, I promise. What is he having me do? Evening. Iron Bull. My Merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jada. Well, near Jada. Mira, I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. He doesn't talk much. Hey. So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Venatori? Or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? <laughs> this isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. The next empire, I like it. Hmm. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his arch demon. I don't think the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option. But a few faces might help. You made it sound like you didn't like the Inquisition. People don't always tell the truth when you're polite. You've got to poke them a bit. <laughs> Those two soldiers might think you're an asshole. So? <laughs> well, their attitude surprised me. I knew some of the soldiers felt like that, but to actually hear it... It's hard to be just an idea sometimes. That's all you are to most of them. It's why you could stand right in front of them without being recognized. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that. No matter what comes next. So the game actually just crashed for like the first time. CTD, it was great. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. Now, can we, can we please? Thank you. And then, no, what? You didn't fucking put it on there, you go. Yeah, so it crashed. Hey, See you later, boy. Mm -hmm. No, that's Cassandra. Have you met this friend of Barracks, Inquisitor? Not yet, no. It had better not be who I think it is. I will wring that little bastard's neck. <coughs> Why? Who do you think it is? Someone Varric claimed he could not contact. Someone the Inquisition. 
Indeed, all of Thedas desperately needed. <laughs> I'll reserve judgment until I know for certain. No need to have that rogue screaming persecution yet again. <laughs> Do you have any advice for me? Treat Dorian with caution. It's possible he could be what he seems. A Tevinter mage wishing to do better than his countrymen. What if he is not? <clears throat> At best, his presence makes the Inquisition appear to have questionable allies. Uh, we don't care about the rest of this. Goodbye. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Do you not really go in here until... Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Alright, what's going on down here? What's Cullen? The order send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Screaming at him. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now. We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have. <sighs> Do you ever sleep? If Corypheus strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. <clears throat> and I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. Good. How many did we lose? How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but it's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Inquisitor Lavellan. Sounds odd, don't you think? Not at all. Is that the official response? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it is. But it's the truth. We needed a leader. And you have proven yourself. You responded quickly to the attack on Haven. Without that, so many more would have died. I'm grateful for any help you can give. Thank you, Inquisitor. I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word. Any other words of wisdom? Inquisitor? That's all for now. Should you require anything? What's this? Look for coal. How about I don't? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. He's blocked off. Okay. Hello. Hello, mages. You're part of the army now. <laughs> um, no, I'm not. Fuck. Sure, let's look for coal. But this violates everything we know about the Fade. So it does. Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. A demon, more likely. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. I'm not sure how much more complexity I need, Solus. You must understand what makes this particular spirit unique. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But you claim Cole looks like a young man. Is it possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. What do you mean by possession? Spirits and demons cross over from the Fade by attaching themselves to something in this world. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form without possessing anyone. The 
The demons who came through the breach, or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. I'll talk with him. hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? If none of us remember him, he could be anywhere. Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to. I'm dying. I I'm dead. Get out of their heads. They're in mine. Every breath slower. Like lying in a warm bath. Sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain. Dry. Scraping. Thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. Solas tried to explain what you are, but honestly, I stopped <laughs> listening after a while. <laughs> Any chance you could explain it? Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. Sure, stay with us. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt. The helpless. There's someone. Don't. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. Nope. Give him a chance. You say he won't die for hours yet. You can't know that for certain. His body is failing. He could recover. Or the healers could find another way to help him. How do you know? I don't. And neither do you. That's part of life. Try. I want to stay. Great, now I'm never gonna talk to you again, so Inquisitor, is there something I can do for you? I should really focus my attention on the injured. Do we have many injured men? Fewer by the day. The most grievously injured did not survive the journey to Skyhold. As for the rest, they either heal or <sighs> I try to make the passing painless. I haven't seen you before. The commander brought me up from the refugee camp. I've been helping the pilgrims in simple ways. Setting broken bones, simple amputations and such. We need all the help we can get. You want a mage? Shouldn't we let the mage healers deal with this? Magic can't cure everything, and we shouldn't rely on it. 
science, your worship, is the way of the future. True. Good health isn't magic, it's diet, exercise, and a balance of humor. True. As you were. Your worship. Okay. So it also says find the blacksmith. I don't know where there's a blacksmith. Uh, oh, there's Flissa. Hi, Flissa. You, your, your worship, I'm serving now in a different way. <laughs> it's good. Very good. Is that a dwarf? Look at him. Okay. Oh wait. Um, I think the palace. The palace. The blacksmith might be down. Okay, that place is gone. Um, uh, over here. Yes, yeah, becomes so. What is was this place? So much room for whatever was here. Words. Greetings. Any word, words of wisdom? No. Goodbye. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Suktar Muktar. No, wasn't the library here, or do we need to wait? Yeah, no. Here it is. Hi, Dorian. Brilliant, isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. <laughs> Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? You don't need to worry about me. I can keep up. Yes, I noticed that. <laughs> Did you now? Certainly. If you were a slack-jawed yokel, you'd already be dead. I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. But this is something else completely. Wasn't he Intervinter, technically a magister? They say the Chantry's tales of magisters starting the blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very magisters. A dark spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the blight? You know how it is. Not us. They say Darkspawn were always there. Magisters and the blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. But if Corypheus is one of the Magisters who entered the Black City and he's Darkspawn, what other explanation is there? Why does that make you angry? Because the Imperium is my home. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it, somewhere. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. Last I checked, the Blights hadn't actually destroyed the world. Not for lack of trying. If they were more clever, they'd have unleashed something that would really do the job. <laughs> no one will thank me whatever happens no one will thank you either you know that yes that attitude must be why they kicked you out of the Imperium <laughs> they didn't kick me out well only because they never got around to it eventually they might have all I know is this Corypheus needs to be stopped men like him ruined my homeland I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Goodbye, Dorian. I don't know where you're going. Oh, there we go. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. Murky Monsar. Questions, questions. Do we even care about that? So, or at least we don't care about it yet. Hi, Fiona. Greetings, Inquisitor. That is your title now, yes? I admit, I was worried what being conscripted into the Inquisition would mean, but it's not as bad as I feared. 
We survived the attack on Haven. And this fortress is secure. It's more than most of us have known for a long time. More to come. Don't get comfortable. There's more on the way. Fair enough. <laughs> I've been a Grey Warden, Grand Enchanter, leader of a rebellion, and now I am none of those things. Odd where fate takes you, as you're no doubt well aware. You were once a Grey Warden. Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally one is part of the Order until death. But long ago I found myself stripped of what made me a warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi, the first warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. You sound happy about it. Becoming a warden seemed like a dream when I was first conscripted. Towards the end, however, my brothers and sisters, they felt I had somehow cheated death. I was glad to leave. It also made me unique in the circle. I had an opportunity to do more than I ever could as a warden. You mean you began the Mage Rebellion? I pushed for our vote to free the circles of Mage. But I cannot claim sole responsibility for what followed. Still, despite all the chaos, I would do it again. What happened had to happen. You're not still the Grand Enchanter then? Any claim I had to the title ended along with the Circles of Magi, although some still call me by it. Perhaps the Circles will one day be resurrected. If so, another will take the position. Until that time, I lead my fellow mages by default. I will do what I can for them. You believe they'll recreate the Circle of Magi after all this? It depends on who the next Divine is, and what she offers. We can't go back to the way things were. But endless warfare benefits no one. That is why I agreed to Justinia's conclave. There must be another solution. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly did the Venatori take control in Redcliffe? Mages constantly found their way to us while we were there. Stragglers, most of them strangers. I had no way of knowing some were actually to Winter. They spread whispers, encouraged talk of an alliance, and we were desperate. I'm not proud of our choice, but we were certain Templars were coming. It could have ended far worse. I trust everything is well with the mages. Some struggle with the idea we are once again subject to control, but we are enduring. Good. I'll leave you to it. Before you go, Inquisitor, a question. In Redcliffe, after we left, did you perhaps speak with King Alistair? Considering who you are? He wasn't in the mood to talk. It's just that I knew his father, Marek, back when I was a warden. You want me to smooth things over with him? Introduce you? No. It's too late for that. I only wanted to know if he was happy. His father had such hopes for him. Don't mind me, Inquisitor. The concerns of an old woman. Nothing more. What's this? The veil, blah, blah, blah. Greetings to you, Inquisitor. I am to serve as assistant to any research concerns. You'll find my skills are exceptional. I hope they prove useful. Is she tranquil? You were made tranquil? Yes, I am tranquil. It was necessary due to a willful nature that made wielding magic a dangerous endeavor. I remember that being a difficult time, but I cannot remember why. My skills are well used in my current position. You're taking over the duties of Minave. Yes. She said she was needed elsewhere and that I should serve the Inquisition to the best of my ability. What is she doing? I wasn't told. Okay, good. <clears throat> Goodbye. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. That is definitely Blackwall. Yeah, 
Hey, little Yanya. I'm sorry. So am I. The names of those we lost. You must blame me for this. <laughs> now that you mention it, no. We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents. And instead, we lost Haven. More likely, they would have stayed out there, died, and we would have lost Haven anyway. You don't know that. Their lives could have bought Haven a small chance. My people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. Mm. True. There are soldiers. They'll do what we need them to. If Corypheus is cold, I must be colder. War demands sacrifices of us all. I'm listening. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh, you are referring to my outburst in the Haven. I... I am much better now. Justinia was such a dear friend and there were so many things going wrong. Things going wrong? I'm shocked. I was with a hero of Ferelden when he defeated the Archduke. <coughs> with him by my side, Anything was possible, but there is no happily ever after, not when life goes on. When the Divine requested my help, I went to her. I owed her that much. I sacrificed so much to do the Maker's work. But now, Justinia is dead. I was angry. I felt betrayed. But I shouldn't have let my emotions get the better of me. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You were grieving and upset. I understand. Thank you. Now, enough of this. Let us think more pleasant thoughts. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, next time we do stuff, thank you all for watching.